So it's really lovely outside today. And I decided to, I got all my errands done, which is a small miracle for myself. And I decided to go for a little walk in the park that's really close to my house. And uh, go and read a book outside. You know, be in the sun and stuff. I was doing my errands today. And I found this on my, on my, I found this on my car. What is that? What is that? Either it was a very constipated bird, or someone threw gum on my car. And I don't know how to get it off, because I don't want to touch it. The reason I love the park is simple. It makes me feel connected. When I come here, I feel like not only part of my community, but part of the human race. After a long week of rushing between jobs and hardly having time to eat, let alone contemplate my role in the universe, I can sit here in the quiet and read or watch the ducks and remember there is so much more to life than going to the bank or if my laundry's done. I read an article about Joss Whedon, who after Firefly and the Avengers pretty much owns my soul. What he said was, I'm alone, but not lonesome. I have family and their people, but I'm all alone. And that's exactly how I look at life. I'm alone. More alone now than I have ever been. But I'm not lonely. We go through our lives like the word alone is a bad word or something, and I can't figure out why. It's because I am alone that I have finally started to get to know myself. This place has been here since before I was born, and it will most likely be here long after I leave. And for reasons I don't fully understand, that is a really comforting notion. There's a line from Doctor Who about how the Doctor can feel the Earth spinning and hurtling itself around the sun. And I have no idea how that would feel, but I'm guessing pretty dizzy. But sitting here, I can almost hear the universe telling me, it's okay. This is enough. I don't believe in God or Buddha, but I believe in the magic of a place like this. There's a natural beauty here that you can't find in a museum or recreate using any medium. When I was younger, I thought that trees like this were like a portal to another place, like Narnia. This place and places like it are still magical, because this is where children's imaginations are nurtured and grown. Except this one. This is definitely where Alice fell down the rabbit hole. So after the park, I was really freaking hot because I don't know if you've noticed, it's August and I live in Nebraska, so it's pretty hot. I came home, took a shower, and now I'm watching Three Ninjas and having a snack. That is sugar, so I just sort of uh, dip it in there, right? And eat it like that. It's really, really good. And I've been eating them like, I've been eating just plain tomatoes like this for as long as I can remember.